Computer science is a study of computation and information. Who is the father of computer science? Alan Turing is the father of computer science. He has invented analytical engine for calculations. So system software is used to control and manage the hardware resources. So next component is data. Very important question for one mark. Computer can give the accurate results. Next concept is components of computer system. Hello everyone. Welcome to the world of computers. I am Shweta, computer science faculty with the Ashram Pre University College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Today, I am going to start first PUC first chapter called Overview of Computers. Very important chapter, easily you can score 8 marks in this chapter. So today, I am going to discuss about the definition of computers and the characteristics of computer, data and information, hardware and software and functional components of computer system. The weightage of this chapter is 1 mark, 1 question and 2 marks, 1 question and 5 marks, 1 question will come for your examination. So, totally you will get 8 marks in this chapter. Very important chapter, easily you can score 8 marks in this chapter. Let's get started now. Computer science is a study of computation and information. Deals with the theory of computation algorithms and computational problems and the design of computers, hardware, software and applications. So, computer science is a study of computation. Computation is any type of arithmetic and non-arithmetical problem. Computation in the sense is a any type of arithmetic and non-arithmetical steps and which follows the well-defined format. So, computer science is a branch of computation and information. Who is the father of computer science? Alan Turing is the father of computer science. Alan Turing, he was a mathematician and computer scientist and is widely considered to be the father of computer science. And who is the father of computer? Charles Babbage, he is our father of computer. Charles Babbage, he was an extraordinary talented scientist and mathematician, economist and engineer. And he has invented analytical engine for calculations. So, who is the father of computer science? Alan Turing is the father of computer science and Charles Babbage is the father of computer. The computer is most powerful machine man has ever made. We cannot even imagine our ordinary life without computers. It's in our homes, hospitals, industries, banks, everywhere. It's in our backpack, our lap, pocket and of course, it's in front of us. We cannot escape to the computers. Knowingly or unknowingly, we all use it every day. It's like magic that has made our life a lot easier. So let's go on an exciting journey to the world of the computer and explore how this magic happens and how it's important in our life. In this journey, we will explore the fundamental concepts of computers and their programming languages and software and hardware components and the design of computers. And we will also go into the past to explore how the computers and their programming languages was evolved in history. Let's start one by one. The word computer has originated from Latin term compute which means to calculate. So computer is calculating device. Millions of calculations can be made in just a fraction of seconds. So, computer is an electronic data processing device that can store, recall and process data. It can perform tasks or complex calculation according to the instructions given by the user. Computer accepts raw data as input, process it and produce a meaningful information called output. So, computer is an electronic machine. Example, we can use it for preparing the results and for calculation purpose and for transactions and scientific work and many more. So, we cannot even imagine our ordinary life without computers. Computer is a calculating machine. How computers work? Computer is an electronic data processing device. It can perform four operations. They are input, storage, process, and output. Input. Computer takes 
data as input data means it's a raw facts or figures and what is storage the inputted data is stored on memory so computer accepts raw data as input and it's stored in a storage unit and after that it processes the data computer accepts the data and it's stored in a storage unit and it processes the data and it produces a meaningful information called output computer accepts raw data as input and it's stored in a storage unit and it processes the data and it gives a meaningful information called an output this is how computer works mainly there are seven characteristics so first one is speed storage accuracy diligence versatility and flexibility and cost effectiveness so you can remember this in a shortcut method that is s s a d b f c s s a d b f c speed storage accuracy diligence versatility flexibility and cost effectiveness so first type is speed speed is one of the main characteristics of computer so in general no human being can compete to solving the complex calculations faster than computer so speed is a main characteristics of computer storage is another important characteristics of computer so storage capacity is the main characteristics of computer so second characteristic is storage it can store large amount of data so next characteristic is accuracy computer can perform operations and process data faster with accurate results and no errors so computer can give accurate results without making any errors that is called accuracy accuracy depends upon the design of computers so results can be wrong only if incorrect data is feed to the computer computer can give accurate value with no errors if your input value is correct means computer can give the accurate and exact value this is called accuracy so next characteristic is diligence so what is diligence computer can work for us without breaking and creating any errors so it is free from tiredness and free from lack of concentration so computer can work for us without creating any errors so this is called diligence diligence means it is free from tiredness so it can work for us without making any errors this is called diligence so next important characteristic is versatility so computer is a versatile machine so can perform all kind of job simultaneously so simultaneously we can use the computer we can listen music many more so this is called versatility computer is a versatile machine so it can perform all kind of job simultaneously so next characteristic is computer is flexible machine so flexibility would involve the number of things you can do with a computer so you can use it for research area in military area for calculations in many more we are using this computer so computer is flexible machine so next characteristic is cost effectiveness what is cost effectiveness computers reduce the amount of paper work and human effort thereby reducing cost so computer can reduce the amount of paper works and humans effort so easily it can perform many calculations like scientific calculations all the arithmetic calculations so it can reduce all the paper works that is what we can call it as is a cost effectiveness so cost effectiveness means it can reduce all the paper works and human effort so which are the characteristics we have studied speed storage accuracy diligence versatility flexibility and cost effectiveness so these are the very important characteristics of computer so computer can store large amount of data and speed is very fast compared to human being and computer can give the accurate results without making any errors so computers can used in many areas like scientific calculations and research field and hospitals 
so these are the very important characteristics of computers so mainly there are seven characteristics of computer next concept is components of computer system whenever you think about computers these are the four different things which should come to your mind so they are hardware software data and information and users these components helps computer to perform specific operations so first component is hardware so what is hardware hardware means is a physical component of a computer system hardware means is a physical parts of computer system so what is physical part the thing which you can touch and feel is known as physical component so physical parts of a computer system are known as hardware so hardware components can be seen touch and feel physical parts of a computer is known as hardware components example we have so many hardware components in our computer system keyboard mouse monitor printer hard disk floppy disk many more so this is one of the important component of computer system called hardware hardware means physical component of a computer system and this hardware cannot affected by virus and we cannot take any copy of this hardware so we can touch and feel the hardware components so next component is software without software our computer system will be useless so what is software software means is a set of collection of programs set of collection of programs set of instructions is known as software without software we cannot use our computer system so example for computer software is operating system so without software most computers would be useless so example for software is operating system so software means is a set of instructions or collection of programs software means is a collection of programs mainly there are two types of software that is system software and application software so what is system software system software is a type of computer program that is designed to control and work with computer hardware and the system software is used to control and manage the hardware resources like memory input and output unit so system software is used to control and manage the hardware resources like memory input output unit so system software is a type of program that is designed to control and work with computer hardware so it is used to control the hardware resources like memory input output units and system software mainly used for execution and development of the application software so system software is a type of computer program that is designed to control and work with computer hardware and it is used to manage the hardware resources and system software is mainly used to execute and development of other application software so this is called system software so next type is application software so what is application software application software is a type of software written by the user to perform a particular task like drawing a picture and playing a computer games so application software is a software written by user to perform a specific task so this is called application software examples we have so many application softwares like paint nudi and office package so these are the types of software system software and application software so system software is a type of computer program that is designed to control and work with computer hardware and application software is a software written by user to perform specific task so these are the types of system software so system software is a computer program that is designed to control and work with computer hardware example for system software is operating system so example for system software is 
operating system it controls the overall operation of a computer system and application software it is written by user to perform a particular task example we have office package nudi paint etc so these are the types of computer software so next we'll see the difference between hardware and software very important question differentiate hardware and software hardware means physical components of a computer system and software means is a set of computer program and we can touch and feel the hardware components but we cannot touch and feel the software and hardware is constructed using physical materials or components but software is developed by the programming language so software is developed by the programming languages and hardware is constructed using physical components and it's not affected by computer virus but software is affected by computer virus and user cannot make any copies of hardware but user can make copies of software example for hardware keyboard mouse printer monitor scanners etc examples for software operating system text editor office package and nudi etc so these are the difference between hardware and software so hardware means physical components software means set of instructions or programs so next component is data very important question for one mark so what is data data means is a collection of raw facts that can process by computers so data is a collection of raw facts or figures it can processed by computers i will give one example for data example kishan 16 have written kishan 16 what is the meaning of this kishan 16 there is no specific meaning for this data so data means is a raw facts once we process this data we will get meaningful output so the process data is called as information raw facts is called as data so there is no exact meaning for this data next i will process this data name is equal to i will write kishan and age is equal to 16 now we can call it as an information so this is raw material and this is an information so data is a collection of raw facts that can process by computer there is no exact meaning for the data so next component is user who are the users a person who utilizes a computer are known as user so people who use the computers are called users so users also very important they will play the important role for the computers so mainly there are four components of computer that is hardware software data and information and users so next main concept is block diagram of computer very important question for five marks a computer is designed for four basic units they are input unit central processing unit memory unit and output unit so this is the block diagram of computer so this is input and this is output here we have central processing unit and memory unit computer accepts raw data as input so input unit means the process of entering data into the computer so the data is entered through input devices we have so many input devices mouse keyboard joystick barcode reader etc so computer accepts raw data as input and it's stored in a memory unit so it's stored in a memory unit and it will go to the central processing unit so computer accepts raw data as input and it's stored in a memory unit after that it go to the central processing unit 
and it process the data and will give the meaningful information called an output. So, this is information. The process data is called as an information. So, CPU process the data and it gives the meaningful information called an output. So, the results are produced through output devices called monitor and printer. So, we have so many output devices, monitor, printer, etc. So, this is a block diagram of computer. Very important question for 5 marks. First unit is input unit. So, what is input unit? The process of entering data into the computer. The data may be in the form of words, numbers, audio and commands, etc. The process of entering data into the computer. The datas are entered through input devices, input devices like mouse, keyboard, etc. So, input unit means the process of entering data into the computers. So, next we have output unit. Output unit means the process of producing results for the users. Results may be in the form of visual display or printed format. And the results are produced through output unit that is monitor, printer, etc. So, input unit means the process of entering data into the computer and output unit means the process of producing and results for the users. So, this is called input unit and output unit. So, next unit is very important unit is CPU. CPU stands for central processing unit. So, what is central processing unit? CPU is a central processing unit. It can perform the overall operations of the computer system and it controls all the components like arithmetic and logic unit, control units and registers. CPU contains mainly there are three components in CPU that is arithmetic and logic unit, control unit and one more unit is registers. So, what is control unit? It controls the overall operations of the computer system. So, control unit is called as the backbone of the computer. So, CPU contains control unit. It controls the overall operations of the computer system. And second unit is arithmetic and logic unit. ALU stands for arithmetic and logic unit. Very important question for two marks. So, what is ALU? ALU can perform all arithmetic operations. So, arithmetic operations in the sense addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So, ALU can perform all arithmetic and logic operations and controls the speed of these operations. So, it controls the speed of all the arithmetic operations and it also performs all logical operations. Logical operations means this and or and not operations. So, ALU can perform all arithmetic operations and logical operations. So, very important components of CPU, control unit and arithmetic and logic units. So, next unit is storage unit. So, storage unit is also called as memory unit. So, what is memory unit? Memory unit is the amount of data that can be stored in a storage unit. Memory unit is the amount of data that can be stored in a storage unit. So, storage device can store large amount of data and it can hold and store information both temporarily and permanently. So, storage unit can hold data and instructions for permanently and for temporarily and storage unit is also known as main memory unit and internal unit and storage unit is also classified as primary storage and secondary storage. So, what is primary storage? It is the main memory of the storage. It consists of RAM and ROM and secondary memory means it is an extra memory of the computers. Example, hard disk, floppy disk and magnetic disk etc. So, mainly there are two types of memory that is primary memory and secondary memory. So, this is called storage unit of the computer system. So, we learned four units of computer system that is input unit, central processing unit, 
memory unit and output unit. So this is called the block diagram of computer system. So in my next session, I will be discussing about the evolution of computer system and the generation of computers. Thank you.